Welcome to race one, week 11 of the flat. We're going to start with a two more group two, the Kipco British Long Distance Cup. Number one is Frostbite for Django. Two, Pine Barron to Molly at Surfer. Three, Chef Fractious for Darren Thompson. Four, Wait Your Turn for Joshua Sutherland. Five, I Say Goodbye Now for Molly at Surfer. Six, Mickey Blue Eyes for Paul Rhodes. Seven, Orpheus for Django. Eight, Polar Lee for Del Hinton. Nine, Rising Eagle for David Robertson. Ten, Anne Boleyn for Paul Rhodes. Eleven, Blair Wood Witch for Jim Murray. Twelve, Golden Birdie for David Robertson. Thirteen, The Afraid for Stu Gray. Fourteen is your turn to wonder for Joshua Sutherland. The last one is 15, Carlisle, which for Jim Murray. They're in the gates. The starters raise the flag and they're dropped and they're away. This is the 379th flat race of the season. There's only a few to go. Around about uh, this week, about around 100 plus. But out of those 378, 181 of them have been won by the top five trainers. So uh, nigh on half, and the, the other 29 trainers have uh, obviously picked up uh, the remainder. So as we can see, it's still the top half that uh, control the league. But anyway, back to this race, and we're first the three. Uh, we're first the f we're through the first three furlongs, and it's Mickey Blue Eyes that takes us along here. Leads by about four lengths to Carlisle, which Blair would which wait your turn and your turn to wonder. And then half a length from them is I Say Goodbye Now and Anne Berlin. And a further length back to Frostbite and Pine Barrens against the fence. Shafractious is the one nearest to us on the fence in the red silks. And the outside of that is the rest, which is Golden Birdie, Polar Lee, Rising Eagle, The Afraid, and the Grey in the race, and Orpheus in the yellow silks towards the rear out wide. So as we come down with uh, still over a mile and a quarter to run, it's Mickey Blue Eyes that leads by about three now to Blairwood, which has taken second on his own. Uh, wide is Carlisle Witch, Frostbite. Wide is it going to go around? The two German silks of Pine Barrens, and I say goodbye now, are there. The two Josh Sutherland horses against the fence, your turn to wander. Wait your turn. Pushing through is Shafractious. Widest of all now is, I think that's Rising Eagle, but it might be Golden Birdie. Two David Robertson horses, and just the three at the rear at the moment. The Afraid, the Great against the fence, Polar Lee and Orpheus. Over the mile left to travel, halfway through the race, and it's still Mickey Blue Eyes. Still leading by a couple now to wait your turn and your turn to wind up. Rain teaming down here at Ascot. Not good conditions. The ones that have gone out really wide here, and Golden Birdie was the widest of all. It's lost a little bit as they took that slight right turn there. So we've got six furlongs to still go, and it's still Mickey Blue Eyes by a couple to Rising Eagle and Polar Lee. It's pushed through well now. Wait your turns there against the fence. The grey push through the afraid. Uh, wide now moving is Frostbite. The other the yellow silks of Orpheus has got stuck behind. I think wait your turn. And it's got nowhere to go. But still up front is Mickey Blue Eyes. Been there since the beginning. We've only got half a mile left to travel now. And it's Mickey Blue Eyes. Still from Rising Eagle pushing out of the pack now against the fence is Orpheus. The pink silks of Polar Lee. Wait your turns there. Blairwood Witch. The grey the afraid. But it's still as they come down to three furlongs from home. It's Mickey Blue Eyes being challenged now by Orpheus, Mickey Blue Eyes and Orpheus, these lead by a couple of lengths from Rising Eagle and Blair Wood, which trying to come out of the pack moments is the Afraid is running on out wide, Frostbite, but still up front it's Orpheus that just knows his half a length in front as they get down to the quarter mile, and it's Orpheus from Mickey Blue Eyes, these two are three, four lengths away from Frostbite and Blair Wood, which wait your turn the Afraid, Carlisle Witch they're all still trying to run on as we get down to the furlong pole, and it's Orpheus that's still got half a length advantage from Mickey Blue Eyes, Frostbite trying to run on inside the half now and it's Orpheus pulling away from Mickey Blue Eyes. Frostbite running on, but Mickey Blue Eyes is going to try and come back on him. It's Orpheus from Mickey Blue Eyes. Orpheus just hangs off from Mickey Blue Eyes. Polar Lee back the third. I think Frostbite was fourth. A good win now for Django. One of the top five. Takes the 379th. And now the top five trainers have won 182 flat races. Second was Mickey Blue Eyes. Third was Polar Lee. I'm not sure who got fourth there. Maybe Frostbite could have been one of the witches. That could have been wait your turn. We'll wait for the card. So the Kipco British Long Distance Cup. Group 2 event goes to Orpheus for Django. Second was Mickey Blue Eyes for Paul Rhodes. Third was Polar Lee for Del Hinton. Fourth was Frostbite for Django. Fifth was wait your turn for Joshua Sutherland.